Brian Scott was Mr. Everything at Hurricane High. Star running back leading his Tigers to their first ever state football title last November. Then in February, finished off an undefeated wrestling season by winning his third straight state championship. Then came a football scholarship to Southern Utah. Then an LDS mission call to Uruguay, which he was scheduled to leave October 30th. Brian Scott was living the perfect, young, athletic, indestructible life. But then two months ago, something just wasn't right. Beginning of August, we had this, like this huge sinus infection, never had had one before. Well, at the time we thought it was a Allergic reaction, so we're like, well, I can't really do anything about it. I couldn't really wait. I wanted to weight train and do stuff. But pretty much the whole summer, I just kind of sat and tried to wait it out and get, <laughs> guess it didn't happen. So they went to the doctor for tests to find out what was wrong. And a few days later, the Scots received the call that would change their indestructible world. He said, I went to my office, and he laid it on us. And yeah. You're like, really? <laughs> Brian was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, or AML, a cancer of the blood. I was like, how's this going to work? <laughs> I had to go on a mission and go play football. So I, was, I didn't know where to go, really. It's kind of like a dead end, because I didn't know anything about leukemia at the time. Brian has spent the last 10 days undergoing aggressive chemotherapy here at Primary Children's Medical Center, and that lowers his immune system to basically zero every day. It was actually really, really hard at first. It was pretty hard, but it, lately it's not been as bad, I guess. So I guess just getting used to it. Are you getting any sleep? I'm about to. <laughs> and for most of the next five to six months, this will be Brian's home away from home, getting treatment and using his athletic mentality so he can do what he's done his entire life, win. I was kind of like devastated, like, oh, what's, what am I going to do? But I don't know, maybe it was that football thing or wrestling, just like, oh, I'll be fine. It's just going to set me back a little bit. Today. Brian is not alone in his battle. He feels the support from his extended sports family all across the state. You see a kid like Brian Scott come through here and, and uh, you know, just love that, that young man and what he represents, and it's not, not about football. At the Hurricane Desert Hills game on Thursday, the Tigers honored Brian and two others also battling cancer. We were almost brothers on the team, and he was always helping me out, always giving me tips, always picking me up when I was down. I love Brian. Everyone else, everyone on this team loves Brian and in the community. You know, Brian, he's a really good guy, and, you know, I'm glad we dedicated this game to him. You know, I'm sorry we lost to him, but I know he's not really worried about football. He needs to worry about his life right now. Thanks to everybody right. who's supporting me. You, you can really feel it. Uh, when you start hearing about people praying for your son, and it's just a little overwhelming. It's pretty cool. While Brian's immediate future, including his church mission, is on hold, his plans for the football field have not changed thought about getting back on the football field. Oh, that's not a question. I'm going back and playing football for sure. You're going back? Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's not, but I don't have any real worries. I'm just here. Mom? It's good. He's a good support. <laughs>